I have a dirty little secret on the plot and that is my um, little scrapyard on the plot now I like this place because I find a lot of things in here that I can use again however my wife is not a big fan we have things like old wooden pallets wheelbarrows bricks old toilets some wooden beams, some stones or um, pavers that you can put next to your road. This I got from a project when I placed new garage doors for a client. I took these things, hopefully to make a do uh, roofs with them one day when you roll them out. They are 3 by 5 meters of zinc that you can turn into a roof. This is a, a, tra a safety door that you can put into a building one day. That is some old pipes uh, that we used for fuel, old trampoline, some old roof tiles over there um, that can cover quite a big piece of roof. And so the reason I'm tell telling you this is because we are gathering some supplies. You see this little wheelbarrow, we are filling it with all kinds of steel. This is Things like that, engine parts, a little bit of square tubing and we are going to turn all of this into a DIY heater. So in here, this is one of my back storerooms. The children are harvesting things like this. Now this has been traveling with my family for many, many, many generations and years, or generations maybe not, but many years. I guess some of them might come some generations because they come from my father and so this will become a heavy bucket I haven't found any use for them in the last 20 years there's also some other things that I found um, so this is a project that we did let me just get this this is some old aluminium strips um, and you use that for hanging coats. And some of them are still long enough to use this, but these ones are too short. Uh, they are about 700 millimeters, and the average hanging cupboard here is about 900. So we will not probably not be able to use them quickly again. I want to tell you a quick story about this pipes. So the manufacturing process is always ugly. Well, the final product I'm also still not sure if it's going to be nice but let me show you what we've done so far so this is the base we took two wheelbarrow wheels we took the old steel frame from the scrapyard we took some welded mesh we built a little base and we brought all of these materials to the house we bought a drum and a hint and a little locky thing we had the inch in the storeroom, so we didn't have to buy that. Now this is from a chemical company. Yeah, they used to um, have petroleum jelly in this. And so I'll show you now what we do with that. So this is our final assembly. As you can see, we are starting to pack the steel from the top. So we made a little fire cage, put some old oil filters over there. And this is so this is our little fire cage and so that keeps the steel from being in the place of the fire and we have it on a little trolley the handles can come out once you've moved it into the house and i'll show you the chimney now so one of the stories that i wanted to tell you is about these things now, as you can see this is a um a pole where you hang your clothes on when you want to in a, in a wardrobe. So we use this on a project. These are some offcuts. And it reminds me of a time I was working in this restaurant. I was also staying at this hotel that's connected to this restaurant. And um, because I refused to drink with the guys, I was the person that I had to cook every night. And for some time they call, used to call me Donut. But at this stage, they ended up calling me Horse Boy because I was working with the horses. And so I was cooking in the fire like this. And there was this big Afrikaans guy that used to play for the Blue Bulls. 
he was um, he used to do the construction there. And so he started drinking. And then at one stage, he said to my boss, horse boy needs to swim. And then he told me, horse boy, go jump in the swimming pool. And I was cooking my meat and cooking for everybody. All of them were sitting at the bar like that. And I said, no, no, I'm not going to jump. And this was lying on the side. I used it to move the coals around. And he said, horse boy, go get in the swimming pool. Or else we're going to make you. And I took this pole in a way that he could see it. And I placed it in the fire like that. And I said, no, I'm not going to swim. And so this was all just a joke. This was all just a game. And he was a very friendly guy. But he used to, because he was so big, they used to uh, wrestle and, you know, bully me. You can almost say because I was the youngest and the smallest at the, working at the hotel. And so at one stage he stood up and I took this thing out of the fire. And it was red hot here. And he came for me and I showed him this. And he wasn't afraid. And as he came for me, I poked him here. And then he grabbed it with his hand. And as he let go of it, all of his skin was hanging like this. Now I knew he was much stronger than me and I knew he was drinking. So I decided tonight I'm going to die. So I started running to my room. And it was this big square surrounding the fireplace. I ran to my room, locked the door, and he ran behind me. And then he realized, listen, this was his own stupid mistake. So he had to promise me on, you know, make a very big promise that he's not going to kill me before I ever came out and finished the meat. But for months, he had these bandages wrapped around his hand. And I think he probably today still have scars all funny because his skin was hanging like this. So every time from then on, when I was working on a construction site and I saw these things, I remembered how I him it was this little thing that's the end of my story so in here let me show you the top view we picked back loads and loads of steel now the idea is that the steel heats up you we use the chimney here to take out all of the smoke and then we, we when fire dies all of the steel is hot and we move it in there now the reason, um, the best thing probably would have been to use sand or, or rocks and there's a reason why I use steel instead. Um, well, the main reason why I'm using steel instead of sand is because I have to show my wife there's a reason for my scrapyard. She's, um, so I can convince her that steel is the best thing to use for this. And the other reason why I use steel is because it makes a, a little like a little lattice thing where the flames can leak through and can come through and touch every single one and it also heats up very fast if you use sand it will gather a lot more heat but the flame should not be able to go through it so you have to put in a chimney through it and then it will have to heat up the sand and then after that um, you'll then get the mass heating effect right this is our first draft let's see how it goes so just before we close it, I want to show you, we ended up putting loads of steel uh, rocks in it as well, because we didn't have enough steel. So there's a lot of rocks in there as well. So this is what it currently looks like. Smoking a lot more, a lot more smoking coming out the front then would be ideal. I think it might also be some of the Vaseline. I'm going to give it an hour and then I'll show you an update. The chimney part is working. We also had a test to see if we cannot get it through the door there. And uh, there's a hiccup, so we'll have to build a little steppy there. Okay, let me show you in an hour. So, most of the Vaseline burned out. The smoke stopped. It became very, very hot. You can see some water. <laughs> and, uh, but... <laughs> And this became the warmest room in the house, even though it's basically an open room. There's holes everywhere. These windows don't close. Holes on top there. This became the warmest room in the house. However, taking that thing off and pushing this wheels into the living room, I don't think I'm going to do. Now, all in all, I think this was a, a good idea. 
um, it's really ugly that's the main problem with this thing it's really ugly and moving something so heavy and so hot I think is a bad idea but I might be able to use it in a campsite somewhere it only cost it $25 and this will radiate heat for the next 24 hours I'm sure um, heating all those rocks and all that steel up on top and so for $25 mass heater I think um, you know what you get <laughs>